Good morning, good morning, good morning. Getting it in, getting it in, getting it in. It is a Wednesday hump day. I'm out here getting it as much as I can. I don't know how much I can get in today, but I wasn't able to get a walk in yesterday because I had personal things that I needed to take care of. And that's a nice thing about being able to work from home and being able to do what you like to do and make your own money the way that it needs to be made. You can create and make your own schedule and you can readjust some things around. If I was working for somebody, I would have to request time off. So let me show y'all what the skies look like today. Look like it's going to pour down. I don't know when. I don't know. That's all God's perfect timing. But what I do know that I'm going to do what I can while I can. And that's to get me a little bit of a physical fitness in. Now, I'm out here and I love being out here. It gives me an opportunity to get outside the house. And the topic for today is you got it. You got this. The reason why I'm telling you you got it, sometimes you got to stand in front of the mirror. Good morning. Good morning. Sometimes you got to stand in front of the mirror and tell yourself you got this. Sometimes you got to say, I got this. Sometimes you got to shut your friends, your family down, and your so-called wannabe peeps down because they want to tell you what to do, how to do it, when to do it, when they ain't even doing nothing like that. So they ain't even on that level to speak. Okay, keep pushing, Queen. I celebrate y'all. I greatly appreciate that because I'm coming through. I'm coming through. Now, I see a lot of you all, including myself, we worry about success. We worry about financial freedom. I want to tell y'all you got it. But what I do want to say is that during this pandemic, I'm going to advise everybody. I'm going to advise everybody. Connect with somebody to learn you some skill sets to make you some money. Many of you all, I'm going to give an example. Many of you all are working what they call a bare minimum of $10 an hour, give or take. $10 an hour. You got to go somewhere, whether you're at home working for somebody else or go to a job, and you're going to go put in a minimum of eight hours. So you're trading time for money, which you can't get that time back. Now, why are you on that job? I'm not telling you to quit. I just want to give you an aha moment so you can start mastering your skills to either match what you're making on the job or better yet, you might decide six months, a year or so down the line to replace that job. So you traded time for money, which was $80, okay? If you would get and connect, and if you want to know more, you can message me because this is something that I did put up under my belt and it was the best thing that I ever did. I learned how to get inside to trade. I'm not forcing anybody. I'm not putting anything on you. I just want you to realize that I can sit down from learning and mastering because it takes skill set, trust me. It could be a month from now. It could be six months from now. It could be a year from now. But don't get discouraged. Okay, and it's not something that you want to take as a gambling, like at a casino or gambling when you go to bingo. You don't want to do something out of desperation and you don't want to do anything out of fear. But to be honest with you all, I can make one day's work, which many are $10 an hour, eight hours a day, that's $80 
I can make $80 and give or take, let's say one hour or less. Okay? So what I'm saying to you all is you got this. Start working on learning some stuff that can help you bring in a different stream of income into your household because this pandemic is changing the way the world is going to be okay but that's not what this is about i just wanted to put that out there in the atmosphere to give you a revelation that when you go to work i don't care if you're sitting at home working for somebody i don't care if you're on the computer with a headset on i don't care what it is but when you're working for somebody you have to be there plugged in to that job for X amount of hours, for X amount of pay. Period, point blank. When you could be learning a skill set and make your money in less amount of time and have more freedom to do what you want to do. That's what I'm positioning myself. Hey, 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 welcome, welcome. Now, what I mean by you got it, you have to encourage yourself you have to motivate yourself. You have to inspire yourself. You have to uplift yourself. You have to speak life into your own life. Quit depending on someone else to uplift you. Quit depending on someone else to get you from point A to point B. You got to study. You got to become a student. You got to learn some things and master some things. That's what I had to do. Everybody that I connected with, they could show me things. They could lead me there, but they couldn't help me cross over. Okay? And so I had to figure out by doing a lot of praying, a lot of med meditation, a lot of studying and master my own skills. Because everybody has a certain way of doing things. So I had to tweak it just a little bit for me. I didn't need nobody else's approval. So last night when I posted on Facebook, I posted to you all, quit letting other people water you down. Quit letting other people cut you down. Quit letting other people put roadblocks in your way. Quit letting other people cause distraction in your way. Let me explain what I mean. Because you got this. A lot of people can see your success. A lot of people can see that you got potential in you. Remember when we was going to school and you was growing up and the teacher would tell you that your future is bright or they would give you encouraging words. You know, when I used to be a manager at a retail store, my boss used to always stop me and say, why haven't you applied for a higher position? I said, because I'm not in no herb. It's no big deal to me. He said, you got the skills. You got everything. What you waiting on? This before I ever became a manager. The district manager told me, I need you to put in your application. I did that. Then when I got promoted again, the store manager told me he saw the potentials. I did that. People see good in you and they will encourage you to go a little bit further. But you also have people in your circle that see good in you and they really have a lot of envy, hate, and jealousy against you. And guess what, you all? That's their job to keep you at the level that you are or see you fall. So that's why I'm saying you got it. Because I know that sometimes I can connect with somebody and I can be speaking and I know that what I'm speaking is the truth. And I have someone want to error correct word for word what I said. Edify word for word what I said. There was nothing wrong with what I said. They want to make it seem like I'm setting myself up for failure or I'm setting my standards too high or I'm setting my goals too high. Where we do that at? Where we do that at? Because if something is set too high and you feel that it may be set too high and I'm just speaking to you all, then if I'm talking to you and I'm connected to you, I'm going to sit down. And I'm going to say, you know what? Let's break that down. Let's strategize it. Let's make a plan. But a lot of times, you all, people will give you false information, false hope, false dreams, false expectation to get you to shift off of the road that you're on. 
Stay in your lane. Meditate. Study. Pray. You all, you got this. I tell myself that every day I got this. Even when I hear negative stuff or someone trying to water down my dreams, water down my vision. I've been there, done that for 10 plus years. I ain't going through that no more. So I'm telling you all, you got this. Sometimes you got to shake them haters off. But let me tell you, why you're shaking them haters off, use them. Because guess what? They are your footstool. They're not going nowhere. They're going to see you excel. They're going to see you exceed. But a lot of people that is truly, truly, really in your circle, they didn't want to see you win anyway. So they find a way to put bumps in the road, curves in the road, destruction in the road, a roadblock in the road. Uh, family issues come up. Personal problems come up. See, that's how you know you're close to a breakthrough. That's how you know the dreams that you've been dreaming is real. That's how you know the vision that you've seen is real. That's how you know because you start recognizing the same numbers and the patterns. You recognize saying, ooh, this is a deja vu. Y'all know what I'm talking about. Some of you do, not everybody. You are inspiring me right now. Thank you, Miss J. Um, and you all, it's coming to, to pass. I know that I'm in alignment. And I'm encouraging to many of you all because I was at this point before. And God has shown me I've been here. But when I got to this point before, this is where I let other people be all up in my ear, all up in my head, and everything around me was distracting me. Personal issue, family issue, business issue, and I was stopped. Okay? And when you stop, you all, stopping is just like quitting. It's just like a procrastination. You got to start all over again. So you all, you got this. I'm out here. Look at this weather. I don't know what this weather may bring. Okay? But that's all to God. That don't have nothing to do with me. But see what I'm doing? I'm doing my part. Because one thing I did learn, you got this, y'all, is that you have to be very, very mindful of your surrounding what's going on around you what's going on with you you got to be mindful of everything you got to put yourself in some type of discipline the principles the laws affirmation meditation praying studying the bible all of those come with principles and laws and if you don't respect that territory, how do you expect to prosper? People are not going to tell you that. But everything, including, including if you worship the one and true living God, I'm not putting no religion on nobody. He gave us laws. He gave us things that we have to abide by. But guess what? He gave us the plan to our wealth. He gave us the plan to our success. The deal of it is, we never took the time out to study it. We never took the time out to figure it out. We never took the time out to apply it. We expected just to what? Fall in our lap. Show up in our bank account. Show up in a paycheck. Somebody come along and give it to us for free. Well, y'all, nothing in life is really free. You got to put some work into it. I want a healthier life. That's why I'm on this journey. Because why? I discover that health is one part of my success. Health is one part of my wealth. Health is one part of my prosperity. Don't let nobody fool y'all. Don't let nobody fool you. You don't believe me? Go through your social media. Go check out Facebook. Go check out Instagram. Go check out Twitter. Even go on the news and stuff. I even looked at Grant Cardone this morning. Y'all know what I saw this morning? I saw Grant Cardone pushing weights on a bench. So that should tell y'all something. Success leaves clues. Prosperity leaves clues. Wealth leaves clues. If these wealthy people are getting out here, getting in shape, getting their health on, getting their workout on, having weight loss surgery to lose weight, what do that tell you all? What do that tell you all? What do that tell us? There's a piece of it. Because health is a piece of it. So if you don't have good health, 
how you expect to have good wealth? If you don't have good health, how you expect to live long enough to enjoy the wealth? And if you don't have good health now and you did get well, guess what? That wealth that you got when you get older, you're going to be spending it on medication, doctors, especially just to save your life, to give you what? A little bit longer to live. That's what's going to happen. Because why? We didn't read and understand. Knowledge is key, y'all. Knowledge is wisdom. Search it for yourself. You don't have to go, go by what I tell you. Go do the research for yourself. I did. That's why I'm speaking to everybody. I didn't just get up to decide to be healthy. I decided to be healthy for X, Y, Z. I gave my reason to do this. Because why? I want to tap into wealth. I want to tap into prosperity. I want better health. It was to the point, you all, I couldn't even walk from my front door to my car, which was less than 20 steps. And I was gilled out of breath, trying to hurry up, get in the car, crank the car up so that the air could blow so I could breathe. Now, here I am coming out here. First, when I started this walking, I was walking and sitting, walking and sitting because I have a knee problem, my left knee. But guess what? I'm going to tell you something. I didn't let my knee, which is my body, have control of me. This is my mind. I control my mind because my mind is the creation. I spoke to my body and told my body, I am controller you. My knee don't control me. I control my knee. And I said, you know what, left knee? <clears throat> Guess what, boo-boo? We fit to get out here and we get it. And I get out here. Don't get me wrong, you all. There's some days that I have my limp days. Some days that my knee hurt. Some days that my knee get pain. Some days I don't have no feeling in my knee like it's going to give away. But guess what? I don't claim that. I don't claim that. God is good. God is good all the time and all the time. God is good. God gave us everything that we need. Everything that we need. The deal of this, we're not using it. We're not applying it. Because why? We get a little extra money. We get a little financial freedom. We go buck wild with it. We want to go buy a pony that we had that we didn't get when we was five years old. You 50 years old. What you going to do with a pony? What you going to do with a pony? Why waste your money on something like that? But anyway, you all, you got this. Get up. I'm out here this morning. I got up this morning. I did my grandma duty. What? My daughter has injured herself, and since my daughter injured herself, I don't want her to hurt herself more than what she have to. So I stepped in, and I thank God for that. Because, y'all, I seen a point in time that when something happened in my life, I wasn't there for my children. I had always picked up the phone, Mama, I need your help. Ruth, I need your help. Stephanie, I need your help. My two sisters that live in the same household with me with my mom. If it wasn't for my mother, it wasn't for those two sisters, I wouldn't be where I am today because they supported me as I went on my journey for more uh, careers that paid more money. Or when I moved from city to city, when I moved to Houston, I moved to Austin, and I'm going because of jobs. My family supported me with my children, okay? But at that time, my parents, my, my mom and my two sisters helped me with my children. So I miss a lot of their first this and first that. But now, I'm in a position now, you all, that now I chose that I don't want to work for someone else. Not in an ugly way, you all. But I don't want to be a puppet on the string. You tell me when to go to work, when to come home, what to do, how to do it. I used to be called out of bed. Nobody's sure for work. You're a salary manager. We need you here. Or if somebody didn't show up for work, I would be stuck there. Or the holidays, other managers want it all. But since I was a hire your paying manager upon a store manager, well, guess who got to do it? Only thing that store manager going to say, fix it, make it happen. That's what you get paid for. So I made the money, but I missed out on a lot of family time. So now I turned it around. Okay, you got this, y'all. You got this. Now I got up this morning, this week. I've been taking my grandkids to school. I got up this morning and I took my grandbabies to school. I looked up. I'm fully dressed. I've been up since 5 o'clock this morning when I talked to my son on the phone at 5 o'clock this morning. 
one of my sons. And so I got up, I got fully dressed after doing all my pray, reading my Bible, all that stuff I share with you all. I do it every single morning and I got fully dressed. I looked outside. I said, Ooh, I don't know. But y'all know I didn't use that as an excuse not to get out here and walk. Y'all know what I did? I said, you know what? If I don't get nothing but half a mile or quarter of a mile or whatever, one thing about it, I did get some steps in and I got some exercise into my life. Another thing, a lot of people say, ooh, be careful, girl, out there. Ooh, that pandemic. Let me tell y'all something about this pandemic. Many people want to tell you to be scared of this pandemic. You know the precautions. Do it. I do the same thing. Ain't nobody out here but me. Let me show y'all. Y'all see this? I'm walking this whole entire park. That truck is there. Park right there. That lady and her dog is on that side over there. I'm way over here. Ain't nobody in this park but me. So guess what? I'm using my pandemic. I'm using my cautions. And I'm using my six feet social distancing. Every last one of us, when we meet one another and we out here walking, we all take off the sidewalk and go a different direction. Whatever needs to be done. But let me tell y'all something. The people telling you to be cautious of the pandemic, it's no different because they're going out there when they want to go out there. They're going to the grocery store. They're going shopping. They're dropping off packages at the UPS store. They're shipping packages. They're picking up packages. They're doing what they want to do. So guess what? They're still in the pandemic too. This pandemic is not going anywhere until it's time to go. But guess what? God still sits high. He still reigns. So where's your faith? Where's your belief? Now he gave us five common senses. Didn't say be stupid. Didn't say to be ignorant. Didn't say to be dumb. Because guess what you all? I get up every day. My mask is in the car. I keep an extra mask inside my purse. I keep masks everywhere. I got disposable masks in every car that I drive because we have more than one car in the family. We have a box of disposable masks as well in the car. Why? Kids could be done left there, so I could be done forgot it, or we come in contact with somebody. So, and sanitizer. Trust me, I got sanitizer in the car. I keep sanitizer with me. And I keep my hands washed. And don't just keep your hands washed. Keep everything washed. Matter of fact, you should have been washing your hands from the beginning. This pandemic is nothing new or things that you should have been doing. You shouldn't have been that up close to somebody anyway. Unless they live in your house. But anyway, you all, back to where I'm at. You got this. Get up. Today is a great day. It was already great when I woke up. Because I'm on this side of the land and the living. I'm out here walking early this morning. I'm getting it in. You got this. Quit letting others water down your vision, your belief, your faith, your hope. There's a lot of people out here that are dream stealers. There's a lot of people out here that will put the fire out in you. Don't get mad with them. That's their job. Let them do their job thank them. Just remember they're going to be the same people. Same people watch you come up if you really want it. And they're the same people, not all of them, but a few of them, that do not want you to bypass them. Because some of the people in your circle is here. You might be here. But they see you getting ready to elevate past them. And what they do, they come in to put a cap on you because they do not want you to pass them because they want to be connected to you so that when before you rise they rise because they want to be one step ahead of you and that's true okay so be mindful of people like that people will come to you ask you for your input ask you for your advice ask you for your opinion <coughs> excuse me y'all walking and talking ain't fun but I'm going to do it. <sighs> Sorry about that, y'all. But anyway, you all be you. You know, don't let nobody water you down. Don't let nobody tell you, girl, if I were you, I would do X, Y, Z. See, I'm creeping up a sweat. Y'all see that? <clears throat> Sorry about that. I have bad sinus, but that's okay. Anyway, go. Get out here. Be mindful of who's in your circle. Be mindful of who you talk to. 
be mindful who you connected to because I want to say it again. You got this. Just know who you're communicating with because each and every individual person connected to you is in your life for a purpose and a reason. And it's all about you allowing them how far they go. People will come into your life and destroy everything you got because you allowed it. So you got to be mindful. And when their job has been accomplished, mission accomplished, goal accomplished, their job done, checkmate, they're going to disappear on you. You can call, they're not going to answer their phone. You can text, they're not going to respond to your text. You can do whatever, whatever it is, they're going to become MIA. And they're going to have a reason when they do come back in contact with you, with you they're going to tell you a reason why they lost connection with you. It's not. It's valid. It's valid to all because they come in and out for a season. They come in and out for a moment. It's up to you to run your race. It's up to you to master the skills that you need. You want success, there's things that come with it. Success is not just your bank account. Success is just not about money. Success is about your overall peace, happiness, love, and joy. Okay, so y'all, you got this, you got this, you got this. Mark my word, you got this. I tell myself every freaking day, Dolores, you got this. You been having this. But I always had one somebody, maybe one, at least one, that's going to come and try to water me down. And the bad part about it is, y'all, it's the same person. I'm not talking about nobody. I'm just giving you all to sit back and look around your circle. It's the same person in your circle. It's the same person that you keep allowing. You can't get mad with them. You only can get mad with yourself. So what are you going to do to change it? You got to do something. You want better in life? What are you willing to give up? Because success requires some things. And success, whether you want to or not, you are going to have to give up some things or it's going to remove it. One or the other. It can happen naturally that you choose to do it or it's going to happen automatically because guess what? Principle and laws and the way things operate, we don't have no control of it. It's going to happen. It's going to happen. Are you ready for that? Are you ready for changes? Because I'm going to tell you right now. You can say, well, you know what? Dolores and inspire me. Dolores and uplift me. I'm fit to go do X, Y, Z. Okay, cool. I can promise you as soon as you say you're going to do something good, all hell going to break loose in your life. All hell. I don't care if it's an unexpected bill. I don't care if it's a bill that you forgot to pay. I don't care if it's something dealing with your husband, your boyfriend, your children, whatever. Something is going to catapult in your life. And you're going to say, whoa. Ever since I said I was going to do X, Y, Z, this, that, that happened. That's to set you up for failure so that you can get discouraged, so that you can quit. What you going to quit for? Why? You got to go through the process, you all. You're going to lose some stuff. You're going to gain some stuff. You're going to win. You're going to lose. You're going to fall. You're going to get up. You're going to run sometime. Sometime you got to walk. Sometime you got to crawl. But guess what? When you're down on your knee, just know this. You still got to get up one knee at a time. And while you're down on your knees, make sure that you take the time out to pray. When you take the time out and pray, you put all your trust, your faith, and your belief in God. He's not going to lead you wrong. But he's going to give you all the tools that you need. All you got to use is use them and apply. That's it. Keep people in your circle that's going to encourage you, motivate you. Y'all know why I come on Facebook Live? I come on Facebook Live to share my world. I don't share everything because I don't want to bore y'all. I don't want to bore you. I don't want to bore you. But I want to let you know you can have it too. The happiness and the joy that I have at this point in time feels so amazing, you all. It feels so amazing to wake up. And I'm waking up at 5 o'clock in the morning, 5.30 in the morning, 6 o'clock in the morning. Not because I have to. Because I want to. Because I desire to. I desire to have this lifestyle. So I created it. Why? Because I know time and money is very valuable. And one thing that I cannot get back, and that's time. So I manage my time wisely so that I can get the most out of my time. Y'all done heard the, the story about the billionaire and the bum. I don't have to tell that no more. You want to know? Go Google it. You got a lot of these network marketers and, and personal development. They've been talking about it on Facebook. The bomb and the billionaire have the exact same amount of time. Well, guess what? We also can relate to it. 
because we have the exact same amount of time. Each and every last one of us got 24 hours every single day. And are you putting it to work? Are you using it wisely? I use mine wisely. How do I know I use it wisely? Because I have time management. I created a schedule and I stick with it. Even when I don't want to. Because why? Wealthy people operate on a schedule. People that's just living life from day to day, going to a job, working to make money, your life is based around your work schedule and then everything else falls around it. Same thing, how you take care of your life, everything else you do, and then what's ever left, then you'll try to go do X, Y, Z. Wealthy people invest first, you all. They do all the stuff they need to do first. And then after they do all of that, because they're gonna make sure that they money making them more money okay that's why the wealthy stay wealthy because they're not spending their money they're investing their money to make more money it's all up to you to decide how you're gonna manage your time and your money you got this trust me you all you got this and I'm gonna say this one more thing it might sound like I'm bab babbling and it might sound like I'm jumping all over the place that's because I don't have it written down, but it's up here. I give you all what's given to me, and as I'm talking, whatever downloads to me is what I give to you. This message is for those that are open to receive it. This message is not for those that are not open to receive it. It's not for those that's not in alignment with me. It's not for those that are not on the same frequency with me. That's what's so important about connecting with people that's in alignment with you, that is radiating with you, that resonate with you and on the same frequency. So to each its own. I'm not talking about nobody. I don't care what anybody else is doing. Dolores is running her own race. Dolores is staying in her own lane. Just like I walk this path to put in these miles, that's exactly what I do. I come to this same park four times a week and I don't worry about what the next person is doing. She's over there walking her dog, her path. She's minding her own business. He's walking his dog, his path. He's minding his own business. Dolores is walking her path. Y'all see me? I just did a 90 degree turn. And now Dolores is walking her own path. You got to run your own race, run your own lane. And quit worrying about what Sally, Jane, Mo, Curly, all of them are doing. And also keep in mind, some people that you're connected with that's doing the exact same thing that you're doing remember they have they may have already been in the game three five ten twenty years ahead of you so you can compare their success to your success you don't know what all they went through to get there but i tell you what you can do you can celebrate you can be happy because once you celebrate and be happy for others yours will come too it's an automatic default. Same thing with bad news. Hang around somebody. Oh, girl, I woke up this morning. I had a flat tire. I be dog. Two or three days later, somebody said, girl, my hot water heater busted in my house. Girl, you know, uh, 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 I, I woke up this morning. A tree fell on my car. God forbid. I'm just saying some things. Okay? It happens because you're connected with those people. So when something happened to them, you can expect something to happen to you whether it's good or bad. So I'm gonna stay connected with the positive people that told me that they got a uh, uh, un, uh, unexpected check in the mailbox, uh, unexpected deposit in their bank account. Um, somebody walked up and gave them the keys to a car and the title. Somebody gave them a house and they got a good deal on it. So that's where I'm at. I know mine's is predicated because again, my sister's not on here, but I do wanna tell Stephanie, congratulations on your new car, baby much success and much greatness one thing i will tell my sister and this is for everybody last year i had a sister get a new car i had also a a, a, a friend in the family just like a doll of mine she got a new truck uh this year my sister got a car well guess what you all i'm connected to those people so i know mine is next in line that mean my car be here next next year i can accept that and i'm excited for it and i'm looking forward to it it's who you connected with 
how happy you are. I'm very happy for Stephanie because why? Stephanie deserved that car because why? She done sold good seeds to many people. She done gave money without any expectancy back. She done helped people along the way. See, a lot of people don't know what you done went through to get what you got. Okay? I'm not going to tell her story because I can't tell her story like she can because there's more to it. She's done a lot of suffering. I sit there. I've been there many times on the phone with her while she go through her crying and go through her pain. Not putting her business out there, but that's what we're for. We're here to uplift each other. We're here to support each other, even when we're down and when we're good. And I was there. But I also pulled back and let her do her thing. And I talked to my sister last night. And I'm proud of her. And I told her out of my own mouth. Not through no social media. Not through no text message. I didn't get to see her in person. But I talked to her on the phone yesterday and I said, congratulations on your car. She wanted to tell me the story about how she got a car. I was glad, but I didn't want to hear the whole story. But I was still glad for her to let her know I'm happy for her. I'm happy for her. How many of us can be happy for somebody without letting envy, jealousy, and hate kick in. Oh, she only did this because X, Y, Z. Oh, she only did that because X, Y, Z. Only reason she did that because, girl, she knew I was in the process of doing X, Y, Z. Or when you get a little blessing, you let it go to your head because maybe you got a house. Maybe you got a car. Maybe you got a little extra money you got blessed with. That's a good thing. Be happy for the next person just like you want people to be happy for you. Make sure you happy for other people. Don't let envy kick in because envy will deceive you. Oh, who she thinks she is. Mm, did you see her hair? Who can she talk about? Oh, girl, how can she talk? Oh, yeah, I'm just putting it out there. Because enough is enough. We got enough. I got enough to take care of Dolores. I'm not trying to look like anybody else. I'm not trying to be like somebody else. But I do know if Jane got it, I can get it too. Or something similar to it. It might not be exactly, but I can. So you all, you got this. Get up, do what you got to do, make it happen for you. This is the time for you to have great success in your life. Go out there, get what belongs to you, do the things that you need to do. And again, go back if you missed the beginning of this video, go back and catch it and learn how to do something to supplement what you're already doing so that you can quit trading so much time for money so you can get money in a short amount of time if that's something that will help you. Anyway, everybody, the wind is picking up a little bit. Let me pick up my speed. And let me get some of this knocked out so I can get back home before the weather get bad. Until the next time, you all, y'all have a good one. And everybody that hopped on, including Mike, I didn't overlook you, Mike. I want to say thank y'all. Greatly appreciate y'all. Catch y'all on the flip side. Holla at you.